Hello, this is Nikita Belousov with a third translation for the English course. The heart. The heart constantly pumps blood through the blood vessels that carry it to all the parts of the body. It looks like two separate pumps next to each other. Both pumps have a collection chamber called atrium, a pumping chamber called ventricle, and valves that prevent blood from flowing in the wrong direction. The walls of the heart are formed with a cardiac muscle. When it contracts, the blood is expelled from the ventricles into the arteries, and when it relaxes, the heart cavity is filled up with blood again. The right side of the heart collects the depleted blood and pumps it towards the lungs, where it becomes oxygenated. The left side collects that oxygen-rich blood from the lungs and pumps it in the bloodstream that runs through the entire body, including the coronary arteries, which supply blood to the heart itself. Fun fact! I actually have a mild mal malfunction of one of my heart valves, so one of some of my blood, some of my blood might flow back from time to time. If I recall correctly, it is called regurgitation. The blood circulation. The oxygenated blood is pumped from the left ventricle into the aorta. The aorta branches into the into smaller arteries, which also branch into even smaller arterioles, arterio arterioles, and finally those branch into the tiniest blood vessels called capillaries. The walls of the capillaries are very thin, which enables for the nutri which enables for the nutrients, oxygen and hormones to be transferred from the blood into the interstitial fluid, which surrounds the cells from where it goes inside the cells themselves. The metabolic waste products created by the cells are expelled into the interstitial fluid, where they get absorbed into the blood. The warmth generated by the cells is also absorbed into the bloodstream. From the capillaries, deoxygen...